uh, became the women's head coach in his ninth season there. On the women's side, three NCAA tournaments in the last four years. The year they didn't go to the NCAAs, they went to the NITs. Last year, they won 11 straight to end the season before their NCAA tournament loss. That was the Maryland, wasn't it, Derek? Derek Brown is with us. Derek, tell us a little bit about your team. Well, thank you, Scott. Um, we have won the uh, last three out of four years uh, going to the NCAA. And the year we did go to the NIT, we did win a game. We beat the uh, University of St. Joe. So, um, and then we lost to South Florida the game after that. And if, I'm, if, it, if I'm correct, I think that was the first postseason win for the women in the NIT. Yes. So um, we felt good about that. Now all of that, uh, most of it, is due to two players that I've had. Uh, Rashida Suber and Shalmar Oakley. They were my uh, two guards. And uh, unfortunately, they have graduated. And uh, that's well, a lot of points. That, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> fortunately for the coaches down at this end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. summer and uh, she won't be ready until probably late December. So we'll probably start a freshman point guard. Uh, our two guard will probably be Shante Cummings who is a transfer. Uh, she's out of Philadelphia but she's transferring from Central Florida. So um, you know the jury's still out on how we're going to play uh, guard blacks this year. Uh, but I will say that along with uh, Rashida and Shalomar, we had a pretty good front court also. Danielle Anders, um, Whitney Cunningham, and Jennifer Martin, uh, we felt played very well coming down the stretch last year. They've been in the fire. Um, those three girls that I talked about, plus Tanisha Harden, who was in the starting center a couple of years ago, uh, she had a micro fracture, um, just like um, Kelly Gray, yeah. I would imagine. And uh, she did play last year, but she's going to come back and give it a try again this year. So they were my, I would say, my best recruiting year. They're seniors now. They have been playing for three years. And um, even though we probably don't have the backcourt that we've had, uh, I think our, our front court is going to be pretty good. They're, they talk about March. She used to shoot that layup. It's like a finger roll, and, and she would just lay it out there. And I used to tell her every day in practice when she would miss it, don't shoot that. But uh, you know, it came down to that play. Um, it was one of those things where it was a scramble for the basketball. We came up with it, they, we got it to her, and she just went to the basket as hard as she could and, and, and made a layup off the backboard from a tough angle uh, with four seconds left to go. We, we were fortunate to win that game. Um, we, we were pressed all game long. We had numerous turnovers. But uh, in the end, we came out on top. Derek, uh, not because he's sitting next to career working with him and, and, and now uh, you know, running the women's program. Well, uh, the meticulous work that Fang puts in. Um, you know, and we would be in practice for hours and hours. And, and we would dwell maybe on one thing for, for probably an hour. And maybe that's the way that he wanted kids to come up against the 1-3-1 where he had to bow out and not come straight up after somebody, you know, and, and things like that that he would just stop practice and, 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 and make these young men do it the right way. And uh, I've learned a lot from Fang uh, defensively, um, you know, how to uh, get kids to, to, to really play and play hard and, and, and actually play harder than you really thought they could play. But, uh, you know, he would get the best out of all his kids. And, and I'm trying to do the same with mine. Uh, I think we've gotten to a point where uh, each coach that uh, we play against, you know, the one thing they'll come back and, and tell me is, uh, your kids really play hard. And I think that's actually the fact. Well, you're, you're building that tradition that Fang has had there on, on the men's side. Good luck again this year.